day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today we continue in covering meteorology and weather theory. We cover fog. In this video I will also cover other obstructions to surface visibility including precipitation, haze, mist, and smoke. Fog is a surface-based cloud composed of water droplets or ice crystals and is primarily a hazard while taking off, landing, or maintaining visual reference to the ground. Fog is the most common cause of surface visibility below three statue miles. The rapidity with which it forms makes it especially hazardous, possibly dropping from VFR conditions to less than a mile of visibility within minutes. Fog is formed either by air cooling to its dew point or moisture being added to the air near the ground. It is classified into a few different types based on the way it forms. To remember the types of fog, we will use an acronym named after the capital of France, PARIS. That is, precipitation, advection, ice, radiation, upslope, and steam fog. Precipitation fog forms as warmer precipitation falls through colder air below, saturating the air as it evaporates. Expect this in areas where a temperature inversion and precipitation coexist. Advection fog forms as moist air moves over colder ground or water, typically deepening with winds increasing between 1 and 15 knots as they mix the air, allowing it to cool to the dew point even faster. Think about blowing on the surface of a bowl of hot soup, or blowing on the soup while stirring slowly with a spoon. The same concept applies here. Above 15 knots, the fog is lifted. Advection fog is typically encountered in coastal areas or deep in continental areas. Ice fog is simply fog composed of ice crystals, found only in extremely cold areas as fog seldom freezes above negative 40 degrees Celsius. Radiation fog forms almost exclusively during clear weather nights with little to no wind and a small temperature dew point spread over land. As terrestrial radiation from the rapidly cooling ground lowers the temperature of the air immediately above it, the temperature dew point spread decreases, resulting in fog that may restrict ground view in flight extensively or even completely. Radiation fog deepens with winds between only 1 and 5 knots. Radiation fog usually burns off rapidly after sunrise. Upslope fog is formed as moist, stable air is pushed up sloping terrain, cooling adiabatically or with no heat energy transfer to the dew point. Once the upslope wind dissipates, the fog does too. Steam fog forms when a very cold air mass moves across relatively warm water and enough moisture evaporates from the water surface to saturate the air. It is commonly observed over lakes and streams on cold mornings and over the ocean during the winter when cold air masses move off continents over warmer water. Moving on to additional obstructions to visibility. Any precipitation, whether liquid or solid, that reaches the earth may obstruct surface visibility. Heavy snow may reduce visibility to zero. Rain seldom reduces surface visibility below one mile except in brief heavy showers. Drizzle usually restricts visibility to a greater degree than rain. When drizzle changes to light rain, visibility usually improves because the droplet size increases, meaning there are fewer droplets per unit area. Haze is a concentration of salt or other dry material particles not classified as dust or other phenomena suspended in stable air. Haze usually has a definitive top. Above that is good visibility. Downward visibility within haze is poor, especially on a slant. This affects pilots on approach to landing. Mist is the intermediate point between haze, which restricts visibility less than mist, and the more restricting fog. Smoke forms primarily in industrial areas at night or early morning under a temperature inversion. The warm air above creates a sort of lid, keeping the smoke inside. This concludes today's video over fog. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope if you've enjoyed the video that you might like it, share, or subscribe to keep track of new videos. Feedback in the comments section is always appreciated. Thanks again and safe flying.